So all this Thank positive you. vaccine news, is this a game changer for your company? Are you expecting, uh, that, or I should say, are you expecting that uh, you're going to continue to see some positive results as people, uh, you know, play, stay at home and play at home? Well, I think it's great news for the world. I think definitely we're all looking forward to getting back to normal. And um, I think what has happened really is that the pandemic has really accelerated the growth of gaming over the past couple of months. So prior to the whole pandemic situation, gaming was always, you know, has always been growing on a double digit uh, path and um, the pandemic pretty much accelerated everything. And what we're seeing is that even for some of the markets that have opened up post, um, you know, the pandemic, or I wouldn't say post the pandemic or have opened up, we've actually seen activity on um, much higher levels anyway. So what we do believe is that there's still going to be great growth. I mean, we've had some phenomenal growth in uh, 2020, and we do expect it post um, a vaccine or, or otherwise. Can I ask you about data privacy for your clients, though, because there were reports that there was a data breach of around 100,000 client details. Sure. Well. First up, uh, it wasn't a data breach of sorts. Um, I think there was um, uh, some settings that were open uh, and uh, we have had no uh, indication that any data was actually leaked. But definitely data is uh, protection is very important for us. Uh, I think at Razer, we are one of the largest uh, kind of gaming platforms um, in the world. We've got about 100 million uh, gamers uh, on our platform. And, uh, you know, today we've expanded our business to do services and um, fintech, et cetera, for the youth and millennials. So definitely it is important for us. And when we speak about fintech and some of the growth areas you're looking at, how uh, is the consortium going in winning this digital full banking licence here in Singapore? Well, we're pretty much still uh, uh, waiting for the decision. I think for ourselves at Razor, we've actually built um, a really robust uh, uh, business for ourselves from a fintech perspective. So a good example would be in the recent uh, W11 single stay uh, promotion, we actually help um, e-commerce companies process digital payments. We process billions of dollars of digital payments uh, uh, every year. And W11 um, has been a, a great um, day for us. We've seen huge growth year on year, and um, it's been just fantastic for us. And essentially, you know, fintech is one of the growth areas, and we're looking at it not just in Singapore, but pretty much globally. So Razer as a brand, we're probably the leading lifestyle brand for gamers everywhere. There are 3 billion gamers in the world. Um, we want to reach out to them. We want to provide um, fintech services to every single uh, gamer out there. Minyang, tell me, it's going to your, fi uh, your financials now. I mean, uh, this year's probably been fantastic for you, given the lockdown and people staying at home. But tell me, you know, what about profitability? What are your, what are you, are your forecasts on that? Sure. So I, I think for the first half earnings, um, you know, we spoke about how our revenue had, had great growth. We grew 25 percent uh, year on year for the first half of the year. Um, for ourselves, however, I think very recently, a couple of weeks ago, we uh, issued a positive profit alert. Um, we actually expect our group revenue to be up north of um, 30 percent year on year for the full year of 2020. And uh, we've also um, issued the uh, alert uh, that we will actually record a adjusted uh, profit before uh, tax uh, for the year 2020, as, as opposed to a uh, loss of last year. So it's a great year for us. Yeah, so, so you're going to have net profits, are you? Is that right? Just on a net basis? Yes. So um, essentially, um, for ourselves, I think we look at things from a beta and an adjusted profit basis, and we will have a net uh, profit uh, for this year. Uh, what want to get a sense of, you know, we've got the new uh, PlayStation out, uh, Xbox, they've been released. How, how does Razer uh, plan to actually play into the demand for these new consoles, which are meant to be just flying off the shelves when they hit them? Well, it's an exciting time to be a gamer, I would say, you know, any, anywhere in the world. I've spoken about how gaming, you know, pre-pandemic was growing double digits. It's just been growing. And it's not just you know, a particular segment of gaming. We're just seeing gamers come from everywhere. The demographic has been growing. The, uh, the, the gamers in different geographies have been growing. So PC gaming, you know, for example, you know, the graphics cards, the new graphics cards have been flying off the shelves. And that's just PC gaming. Mobile gaming, I'm sure you've heard about how, you know, lots of the top mobile games are just seeing so much more activity, so much more revenues. We're helping many of the top mobile game companies out there monetize their games. So we're seeing great activity over there. And of course, 
console. You know, we're seeing the new refresh of uh, consoles, PlayStation 5, the new Xbox, and um, they've been incredibly well received. So we work in every single segment. We are probably one of the very few uh, gaming companies that are in every single segment, PC, mobile, and console. And uh, we're seeing our uh, new um, console headsets doing incredibly well. So, you know, I think for the next couple of years, we're going to see gaming grow and uh, the pandemic has accelerated it. So it's a great time to be a gamer. Great time to be a gamer. But uh, quickly, what about some areas of expansion outside of gaming? We did touch on the fintech licenses, but what else are you looking at? Well, you know, I think the fintech area is one of the key areas that we're very focused on. It was actually born from our business of um, services. So one thing about Razer is that we've got a complete ecosystem for gamers. We do hardware. We've got a software platform. We've got 100 million gamers on our software platform. And we actually, uh, you know, monetize the gamers with our services. We've got a virtual credit, Razer Gold, where we work with all the top game companies in the world. 33,000 game titles are on the platform. And, you know, with... And what we built was like 4 million offline points anywhere in the world where gamers could come, you know, pay for the game credits. And because of that, we created our new business, Razor Fintech, that pretty much uses the channels that we have built with the youth in Millennial. And we just added on that layer. So today we process for all the e-commerce companies and, and things like that. And that already is a massive, massive new opportunity for us. We're 100% focused in terms of our gaming business, our fintech business. And that's where we are really focused, I think, from a business perspective. Now, over and above, something at Razor and something we're very proud of is um, we're also very focused on sustainability um, uh, efforts over here at Razor. We're working with companies like, um, uh, uh, with organizations like Conservation International to ensure that, uh, you know, things that we do are sustainable. We're planting trees throughout. We've got this, you know, little soft toy thing that uh, we've actually shipped. We just launched it. It's called Snakey Snake. Mm. That We're working with uh, Conservation International to uh, really get the word out about the environment, the climate, and things like that out there. So that's definitely a push for us uh, here at Razor. And what about the toaster, the April Fool's joke that is meant to be coming to fruition? Well, um, we constantly have uh, requests for new products all the time at uh, Razor. Snakey Snake was one of them. You know, we had fans tattooing, you know, the Snakey Snake logo on themselves. We have an incredibly passionate fan base. Um, our new products, I think, essentially have been very well received, right? And this is one of the reasons why the growth this year has been phenomenal. And like, for example, I'm sitting right here on one of our new gaming chairs and demand has been just through the roof for the Razer Iska. And of course, home appliances, the toaster, I'm sure with that question, you're going to get a lot of our fans just screenshotting this and saying, even Bloomberg wants the toaster, right? Well, we are definitely looking at it. We've had a huge amount of um, people tattooing the toaster on themselves. So yes, we will get there at some point of time when we get to make the perfect toaster.